Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So a recent version of Caden Live came out a few months ago. It's version 20.08. And right now I'm currently on 20.08.1, which is the latest point release. And this version came out in August 17th, 2020. Now I've been using Caden Live for many years. I have a lot of tutorials on Caden Live and I really love using this video editor. Uh, I think it's one of the best out there, especially for open source and free video editors. And it's gone through many different evolutions. Now on this particular video, I'm not gonna go over everything because there's still a lot to learn here. I'm just gonna give you some of my thoughts. So there's really nothing scripted or planned here. It's just you know me being a Caden Live user and just talking about what I like, what I don't like, what I'm not sure of. So if you wanted to see all the features that it has, you can go to Caden Live's site, uh, but I'm gonna go over some of the things that I noticed. And so the first and biggest thing, if you've been a long time Caden Live user, is the overall interface. They've really made a major overhaul to it. So now if you notice, there's like different sections for this video editor. And so there's logging, which allows you to preview your videos, see stats and stuff like that. And then there's editing where you're going to be spending the majority of your time. And this is similar to the older look that we're all used to. And then we have an audio section where you can do all your audio editing. There is an effect section. And then there is color grading. Now, the first thing that comes to mind here, at least for me, is this looks very similar to how DaVinci Resolve works and a little bit like Adobe Premiere as well. And so one of the things that Caden Live has been doing for years, the whole team is really making Caden Live more of a pro level tool or maybe like pro like. So for people who are using Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Apple Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, you know, if they're moving over to Caden Live, it's going to have a lot more familiar interface. And at least right now, I'm still getting used to this, um, but I could see where they're heading. And I think it's going to be a good thing. Because even though I love using other open source video editors like OpenShot and especially Shotcut, I mean, uh, I really enjoy using Shotcut, I always seem to come back to Caden Live because of the fact that this is more familiar to me and it has more of the pro interface that I'm used to. And with every version of Caden Live, they're adding more and more features. Now, I did do a previous comparison of Caden Live versus OpenShot versus Shotcut. And if you want to see that video, I'll leave that in the description area below. But I will say with this brand new version, Caden Live is definitely heading towards, you know, probably going to be the best video editor once again uh, for Linux users or, you know, Windows. It's available on multiple platforms. So basically for a free open source video editor. And um, some of the things that I like right away is the fact that you have more features. Okay, um, having a place where you can do all your audio editing, that is awesome. Effects, um, I'm going to have to get used to this because a lot of times I just use the effects, you know, portion right here. And then the color grading, uh, this is going to be great as well. And so by separating this out, it allows people who are getting into video editing uh, to really start learning more about the whole process of video editing more in depth. So Caden Live, I don't think has been like, you know, the best for uh, beginner video editors. Uh, I normally, you know, say OpenShot is better for that. But with this new version, even more so, this is really not a beginner level video editor and it shows. And so that's one thing that I like is they're really heading towards more of a medium to pro level. And so if you're somebody who really wants to get into video editing and you want to use an open source video editor, this is a great option just from what I could tell. Now, the drawbacks of this is, this is very confusing, okay? I know they're still working on this, but if you're used to the previous k to live interface, uh, then I don't think you're gonna like this one as much. So some of the quirks that it has is, for example, um, in this editing, you know, where you're gonna spend most of your time, say like I make a change, right? You know, you just like increase the screen or something, right? And then you go to another section logging, and then when you go back, you know, it's resets everything. 
And so um, I haven't spent a lot of time trying to figure out if you could save this, but say you had a certain layout that you like, and then all of a sudden you clicked over here to go to a different uh, you know, portion of the video editor, which you will do, and all of a sudden when you go back, everything resets again. And so that's not a good thing. And then some other things that I notice is uh, the default menu. I don't see the render button. It's down here in the project render, but you can add it back. So if you right click on your mouse, there is a lot more options here. And so there is an extra toolbar. If you do that, there's the render button. So I don't know why they didn't just keep that there. It just makes it so much more convenient. But then again, they didn't get rid of it. It just is buried under here. Um, other things I like on this right click, they give you additional things that I don't remember seeing on the previous one like you can do screen grabs now that's really cool you know so you could basically do a screen record right here through Kaden Live and um, I haven't tested out the audio yet but I'm pretty sure their voiceover is going to be better as well so that's one of the great things that they added on previous versions is that they allowed you to do voiceover so I might do a future video on that uh, but I'm pretty sure that they've improved that uh, over the previous version. So right here, see, there is record. So if you want to record, you know, a voice recording or something else on your audio track, you could do that. Okay, so um, having these additional options, you know, they are great. But at the same time, it is kind of confusing and, at the, and also doesn't save your, uh, you know, your settings. And then um, other things I would say is, uh, you know, it's very... Uh, at least at this point, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so I, I always kind of think about this whole usability thing uh, because I'm so used to how Caden Live worked before. I think it was very simple, but it also offered you more, you know, mid to advanced features and it, things made sense. So with this one, you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And so at least for me, it's still a challenge for me to kind of figure out, you know, what stuff does or where stuff was. And sometimes when I change things, I... I don't remember how to change it back, you know, or or basically it's not as easy uh, to, to do that. And then another thing that I've noticed is, and this is probably a really big thing, the performance has, I think, gotten worse. So it, um, if I'm watching this, you know, there's this chroma key effect right here. And if I press play, and so this might be a little bit slower because I'm screen recording at the same time. But if I press play, look how slow that is. That is really slow. And... I have a fairly good machine, you know, I got like uh, Intel Core i7 6700K, 32 gigs of RAM. I run everything on SSDs. And the thing is, on the previous version of Kaden Live, it did not have this type of performance issue. And if you, you know, look at my videos, they're very simple. And so imagine if you were doing multiple clips with multiple effects, audios, it's going to really suffer. Okay, so that is probably... Besides the whole idea of this, you know, confusing interface at times, it's really the performance that I see is the biggest drawback right now, um, at least when I'm editing. And like I said, I do very simple projects. You know, I can imagine if somebody was doing more complex projects, especially for more professional type stuff, this would be very frustrating. Uh, but thankfully, you know, um, Kaden and I still have proxy clips. But even when I'm using 1080p, it still suffers. You know in terms of performance so um, if you want better performance uh, you're probably gonna have to use proxy clips more often in Kaden live for serious youtubers check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below and then um, I also noticed like the render time uh, it's a little bit slower as well and so this isn't a problem for me most of the time because, you know, my project is fairly simple. But, you know, a lot of my video clips, they're 4K. And so that does take longer to render. And just, you know, having that additional one minute or two minutes of render time, and in some cases five or more minutes versus what I did before, that's uh, not a good thing in my opinion. So maybe uh, there's some optimizations that uh, they could make. Um, but in terms of other things that I've noticed, like a huge improvement that I've seen here is actually with keyframes. And so if I go to my effects and, you know, I'm still trying to get used to this interface. So if I add a transform right here. So one of the great things is whenever you add keyframes, 
before, for whatever reason, a previous version of Caden Live, if I moved over to another portion of my clip, the actual cursor wouldn't move with it. I would actually have to make sure I click off and then click on the clip. But now with this version, it moves with it, which is what it should do. So you could add keyframes, you know, like you would in other video editors, you know, where it remembers where it's at and you don't have to constantly click off and click on, you know. And so the keyframes right here, it's just so much better in my opinion. You know, that's a small thing, but it's also a big thing as well because it does save you time. And um, those are just some of my initial thoughts. I know that wasn't a lot, uh, but, you know, just using this on a regular basis, some of the things that I normally do, that's kind of what my first impressions are. And as I use this new version further, you know, uh, I'll probably definitely make an update video because the entire Caden Live team has added a lot of features in here. So it's going to take quite a while for me to uh, go through all these things. Uh, but just from, you know, a, a general user, you know, I've been using this for a while. Uh, I really feel that this is heading in the right direction. Uh, I applaud the team, you know, the Caden Live team uh, for producing this really amazing video editor. And even though there's definitely some parts that can be improved as with any program, you know, my hat's off to the Caden Live team. And, you know, uh, if you did want to support them, you know, or any of these uh, open source projects, please do so. You know, they do have an area that you can contribute. So if you can, you know, contribute to the team and, you know, help them produce more of this great software for us for free, uh, I, I highly recommend you do that. And so that's it for my uh, basically ramblings in a lot of ways, uh, just from a, a longtime Caden Live user on this brand new version. And I know there's going to be a more improvements coming. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my Caden Live tutorials, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.